Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to share with you how you can remove excess earwax. So, first things first, earwax is actually a natural uh, production. Your, na your body naturally produces earwax uh, as a protection agent. So it's a lubricant, it's a natural antibiotic, and it uh, helps keep your, keep your ears healthy. The problem comes when too much earwax builds up, uh, your ears are dry, and there's no drainage, uh, and that earwax kind of dries out, and then it causes uh, hearing problems, uh, irritation, itching, uh, tinnitus, which is ringing or buzzing of the ears, uh, and it's just something that really can harm your ears if it builds up and, and actually cause issues. So, earwax is good, but if you have, like I said, excess earwax and you know that and you keep kind of like pulling it out, uh, this is something you can do that's very beneficial. So, Q-tips, I don't recommend Q-tips because when you use a Q-tip, you actually push more of the earwax in uh, because you have to think you're pushing a little cotton swab in your ear and that's causing you to, uh, you know, try to like yank it out or twirl or twist it out, but in the process, you're pushing more earwax in your ear. So, there's a really cool process I recommend, it's called ear candling. Uh, this is an ear candle right here, whoops. And uh, picture this as a paper play. I didn't have a paper play, so I cut a piece of paper. Uh, and what you do, uh, it's really cool. Basically, what you do is you take this ear candle right here, and you actually light this end on fire, and you put this end in your ear. And then the oxygen and the heat creates suction and actually pulls the wax out of your ear and leaves it in this ear candle. So what you do, what you want to do is get a paper plate like this. You fold it in half. Uh, you cut a little, uh, little slice in there in the middle of the plate with a pair of scissors. Uh, and then it creates uh, the ability for you to put this through like this and you want the pointy end facing the bottom of the plate and then you're just going to stick this in your ear turn your head to the side, light this on fire and keep this barrier between your ear and have about a four inch gap here and you just let this burn until the fire reaches a couple inches from the paper plate um, like I said, pretend this is a paper plate and uh, then you're just, what it's going to do is it's going to suck up all that earwax using heat and oxygen and uh, pull that out of your ear. Uh, ear candles can be found locally at your health food store. Uh, I called my local health food store this morning and a pack of two of them is five bucks. So they're two dollars and fifty cents each. Uh, on Amazon they're like eighty cents each so they're like three hundred percent cheaper on Amazon which is really nice. Uh, it works really well. I've done it a few times myself and it pulls out a lot of earwax. So maybe just once a year just to pull out all the earwax uh, is very beneficial. Like I said though, earwax is beneficial like your skin produces uh, oil to protect it, like your hair produces oil to, to protect it as well. Uh, earwax is beneficial for your ear and ear health and ear drums, uh, but if you do have excess buildup, tinnitus, which is ringing or buzzing of the ears, or you're hard of hearing or you have irritation in ears, it's good to do an earwax candle session. So uh, use this. I'll link up the earwax uh, candles below on Amazon uh, along with some more information. Thanks a lot for your time. This is Dave Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Have a great day. Bye.